reaching out to one of the most insulated communities in Israel, the third annual Tael Conference, Creating Safe Communities, Creating Hope, aims to tackle sexual abuse among ultra-Orthodox populations Monday marked the first day of a three-day conference taking place at the Crown Plaza Hotel in Jerusalem that brought together some 100 speakers and attendees from 15 countries to discuss a number of topics, often not touched upon in the religious community including sexual molestation, divorce refusal, domestic violence, and others. Be the first to know, join our Facebook page. Function, D, S, I, D, VAR, J, S, F, J, S equal D, get elements, but tag name, S, 0, if, D, get element, be it, I, D, return, J, S equal D, create element, S, J, S dot I, D equal I, D, J, S, S, R, C equal slash slash connect Facebook dot net slash N underscore us slash all J, S number X, F, B, M, L equal 1 and app I, D equal 1634148068970. FJS parent note insert before, JS, FJS, document, script, Facebook JS SDK, with presentations in both English and Hebrew, the conference is expected to host some 600 attendees with five simultaneous sessions, seven times throughout each day of the conference. It was no secret that the number METO campaign has influenced the significance of this conference to reach the widest audience in its history and was the first time it was open to the press Debbie Gross, the director of Tael told the Jerusalem Post of the conference's evolution and how different things are today compared to three years ago, in the past, a lot of the goal was to bring awareness to the community. Today people know there is violence in our community, today people know children are sexually abused. The whole METO campaign brought the victims forward. However, through the conference, the idea gets put into action she added, but what I think the typical person doesn't understand is that it is their responsibility to do something. In other words every mother and father has to make sure there's a program in the schools and synagogues, and I think the idea of this conference is how to build safe communities for our children. It's not enough to say this is terrible. You have to say you cannot let this happen again Tael. The Crisis Center for Religious Women and Children, was established in 1993 and has been working to help victims of abuse and terror through social programs and emotional support programs. One of the sessions entitled, Why Me? Dealing When Bad Things Happen to Good People dealt with making sense of the chaos that results from sexual abuse from a religious perspective speaker Manny Wax, who is also the CEO of Call Bounce an organization that works with preventing childhood sexual abuse in the global Jewish community, came from the Chabad Hasidic community in Australia and was a victim of childhood sexual abuse one of 17 children, he spoke of his own personal experience with sexual abuse clean-shaven and presenting his lecture in jeans and an untucked, buttoned-down shirt to a room full of observant Jews, he explained to the group, victims are accused of doing Hillel Hashem, desecrating God, for coming forward Wax presented evidence to show that one out of every five children in Israel, Australia and the United States is a victim of sexual assault, and 70% of those assaults happen within the home. Wax explains that coming forward tears families apart. He, as well as many other victims of sexual abuse, left his home country to come to Israel.